What's up guys, welcome back to my channel where I show you how to make money online and my goal is of course to go from zero to one million dollars. Alright guys, so a lot of you have been asking me how I set up my GPS Forex robot on a virtual machine. So we will be doing exactly that in this video. So I'll split this tutorial up into two parts because it can be a little bit tedious and I don't want to overwhelm you guys with so many steps. The first part will be about how to set up the virtual machine and the second part will be how you can install the robot onto your virtual machine full disclosure i'm not an expert on this so this guy explains everything in detail way better than i would be able to and uh, this guy also goes through all the steps on how you can set up your virtual machine but guys let's get right into the video we are going to use the vps from amazon.com from Amazon Web Services to be more precise. So first of all, I will ask you to make an Amazon Web Services account. If you need assistance in making the account, you can see the video I posted in the description of this tutorial. There is somebody there who made it a lot better than I would do it. And you can just follow those simple steps. So what you want to do now is to sign into the console, which is the button on the top right. Uh, wait a bit, the console will show up. No, first you need to put in your email and password. And now you are in the Amazon Web Service dashboard. What you want to do now is look for launch a virtual machine and that's what you want to come to do, so do it. So once we are in the next screen, first of all, we're gonna choose the region that where we need to have our virtual machine. We need to choose the region which is the closest to where our broker server is. In my case, I'm with Pepperstone London, so I'm gonna to choose London. But if you don't know which one to choose, the best way is to ask the support of your broker. Just ask them on the support, on chat, on email, they will tell you. Our server is New York, London, Singapore, I don't know, they will tell you. And you choose whatever is closest, okay? And now you have this list of uh, eligible um, virtual machines for the free trial. We're gonna go for the Windows version that is like the the oldest, in this case 2008, because we don't want a lot of resources to be consumed by the re, by the operating system. We need our resources for our application, and you're not gonna use it for anything else. So just choose the smallest one. In this next screen, you just have pre-selected the free tire um, virtual machine, and you just press Next, configure instant details. This screen you leave as it is, you don't touch it. Then you add storage and you make sure you have all the storage available, the 30 gigabytes allocated. In this case, it's already been allocated. 30 gigabytes allocated to my free tire, um, free one year virtual machine. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, let's see next. Everything can stay the same. This is good too. All right, we can launch now. So now it will ask us to create or use an existing prepare, um, which is an encoded file that will help us decode our password. Our password comes decoded. Choose a name for your for your virtual machine. I call it Trajunity Robot. And then download the key pair and keep it safe. I am putting it in a folder called key pair and I am going to store it in a very safe place so that I don't lose it. Okay, here we go, save. Yeah, you can see it's PEM, the extension is PEM. Okay, now we're ready to launch. And it says your instances are now launching and we are going to go to the view, view instances. Um, ignore the first row, that was my old virtual machine. Like I'm, right now it says pending. Let's go back to our instance and see if it's, uh, if it's ready. Yes, you can see it's running. So now we need to connect to it. To connect, simply right click and click connect and you'll get this dialog box. Now, you will need to download the remote desktop uh, connection. I will open the folder where it was downloaded and uh, yeah, it looks like I put it in the same key pair folder. And now I'll try to connect. Yeah, don't ask me again, just check that box. Say connect. Okay, and now it's asking me for a password. Uh, I don't have this password, so I need to recover it. In order to recover it, we need to go back to the dialog box from before. And you see that there it says, it tells you your username, which is administrator. And then you need to 
get the password. For getting the password, you need to choose the key pair file that we saved before. Just find it where you saved it and double click it like that. Now you see the encrypted key. You decrypt your password. I'm gonna send her mine. Just uh, copy yours, copy your password. Uh, and after you copied it, go to the remote desktop connection file where you will uh, place the password there and then press OK. Great. Now, yeah, check this box that says don't ask me again on this computer. You verify the certificate and now we are connecting for the first time to our virtual machine. You see the virtual machine is like a normal computer away from your computer. All right, guys. So if everything worked out correctly, you will have your uh remote desktop file your password and if you click on your remote desktop file you will be asked for that password when you sign in it will look something like this and this is my virtual machine congratulations you have your own virtual machine and thank you for watching in the next video i'll show you guys how to install your broker and how to install your robot on the virtual machine Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.